Um, what I'm look looking to get out of Trek is a good spiritual experience, um, be able to bond with some new people I haven't met before and spend some time with them and hopefully make some new friends out of it that'll last a, a good amount of time. I'm looking for a fun experience and to learn more with uh, all the other wards in the stake. Probably just the experience of repeating uh, history, I guess you could say, and doing what our ancestors did. I'm mostly excited about to see what the experience is from the pioneer time. Blacksmith shop on Parlis Street Those boys ain't got a wink of sleep this week Hundreds of wagons, people shivering Sitting on go clear down to the river Listen, prophet, Israel calls Just like Joshua, will you face those walls Steam rolls high off the oxen's back him with some on as he straightens his hat. Well, there's children out there following mothers, sisters walking next to brothers, fathers keeping those wagons going. Everybody's got faith, they know you'll take my people home. Take my people.
no stranger to sore trials. The last three years have been a burning fire. Buried their chosen next to Hiram in a secret grave while a saint stood crying. You finished that temple high up town, and heaven's light fell like a rain coming down. Believing somewhere they'll find Zion, eyes fixed firmly on the lion. Well, there's children out there following mothers, sisters walking next to brothers, fathers keeping those wagons going. Everybody's got. from 1 to 10 right now? Um, I'd say 9. Honestly, still like a 9. Um, like an 8 because it's been fun even though we're all tired and hungry. 6. A solid like 6.5. 11. Probably like a 4, but like my hunger level is probably like a 12. Um, I'd probably give it a 5. <laughs> an 8. Right now it's 10. Honestly. About a four, because I'm a bit hangry right now. How about an eight? I'm feeling good. We just eight. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Maybe a five. Um, about a six. <laughs> Probably six or seven. Today, mine is ten because we're having really fun, and today's my first day of track. I said goodbye to my own life. Follow my heart more than. A thousand miles I've lived the joy I've known the pain I felt the hand of God Out on that frozen plain I walked today On blistered feet But now the echo Okay guys, what is your excitement level From 1 to 10 right now? A 4? Yeah, that's what I was going to say, a 4 uh, Maybe a 3 uh, probably a 10. Probably like an 8. Sadness faces become my best friends. I've never seen wonderful like walking on into this mountain fortress that God made of stone. I've never seen troubles rolling underneath the wheel. Like coming home I prayed so hard My faith would last Buried my baby boy Beneath the prairie grass We all had nights We lie away
brothers and sisters, welcome to where my people are from. of 50 tears fall down drip drip goodbye sweet nabu at the break of dawn in the crack of a whip sound dog captain of 50 hold tight wagon don't tip river cross on over at the break of dawn in the crack of a whip cross that wide mississippi sugar creek farmington born apart across the des moines how the rain fell hard bloom Shared in Locust Creek Come, come, you saints, brother Clayton did sing Dishna, Botna, Garden Grove Mount Pisgah, how the prayer winds blow Never did stop raining From Canesville to Council Bluffs Across that cold misery Looked out off the end of the earth When our quarters was some long, hard months As we buried so many of the ones we love Load up, Captain of Fifty Rain They lose that fat There me sand hill chimney rock We bowed our heads Said a prayer to God That we'd make it on through To devil's gate Gotta fix that wheel No time to waste Will the spring split rock Through South Pass Green River Camp With a soft pork glass Church Butte Bridge Your trading post Won't you drop that needle At the wagon's coast Load up Captain of 50 Sweat But we can't help dance when the pits band plays
and courageous things was the faith in Jesus Christ and the knowledge that the gospel had been restored through the prophet Joseph Smith. I bear you that same witness. Stay up track has probably been the first night. We were pushing for 12 miles, and in, it was super cold, super super cold. So the hardest part about the trek was probably being away from my family for so long, and I got lost. Yeah, that was really. Mm. Um, I kept tripping, like on rocks and stuff. It wasn't really fun. <laughs> the hardest thing about Trek was watching the women's pole and not being able to do anything about it. It was cold. Um, I'd say watching the women pole on the women's pole. Probably the women's pole. Sleeping. And the night, it was cold. Um, I think the hardest thing for me was the food because I couldn't eat a lot of it and I was really hungry the entire time. The hardest part about Trek was definitely watching the women pull. Um, it was just really tough to not being able to help them. Um, I'd say the hardest thing for me was Wednesday night because I hadn't like I had much energy before that and not eaten enough and stuff like that. Um, something that me made me super proud of my family is the first night we didn't know each other super great yet. We were still getting to know each other. And they had us hiking in the dark up this super crazy long rocky hill. And everyone just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. The kids recognized each other's kind of strengths and weaknesses and they they knew where they needed to fill in and they knew where somebody else could fill in and they and they worked well together and they didn't even really talk about it. They just meshed and flowed and it was amazing to see these kids and their happy attitudes. So I think what made us the most proud of our family is that they just pulled together and they um, came together as a family. We felt a lot of love for our children. They, uh, they felt a lot of love for each other, which was amazing. I just, I just out. And we talked about this last night. They never talked bad about each other. They just had each other's back and so much love. I really feel like they pushed through physical things that they were kind of suffering through and they thought nope I'm done I gotta stop and then they realized they could really do it. Yeah they were awesome and really giving each other a helping hand like I say in the beginning it was evident that some of them you know had sore knees or backs and this and when they yeah when they saw their other family members suffering as well it really uh, inspired them to jump in and help out so that's uh, what stuck out the most to us. Their hard work they worked so hard and we couldn't be any more proud. We love them all. And they supported each other and worked together all the way. It's awesome. They're so cool. <laughs> it truly was a dangerous trip. 
And had we not been convinced by the power of the Lord to know that we were preparing to help lay the foundation for the building up of the kingdom of our Heavenly Father on this earth according to His holy commandment to His prophet Joseph Smith, we never could have undertaken such a journey. It was our faith and our knowledge that the Lord had set His hand the second time to establish His work on the earth.